Yes! The Indiana Fever finally win! You know, I was getting a little worried if they were going to keep losing and losing and losing and losing if people would lose interest. As I'm obviously talking about the Caitlin Clark effect, the Indiana Fever, what it's meant for the WNBA, women's basketball as a whole, you don't want that central driving force to be deflated. But it was not. And they are playing better and better all the time. And I want to give credit, first of all, to Caitlin Clark's teammates. Clark will get plenty of credit, and she was clutch in the fourth quarter. And Caitlin Clark is much more than just a shooter or a scorer, which which I'll get to in just a second. But credit where it's due. Many of her teammates have been roundly criticized in the, the last several days, several weeks, some of them by me. Let me start with Aaliyah Boston who played her best game of the season by a mile, was efficient, 8 of 14 from the floor, 17 points, moved better, just looked more confident out there. And I was worried they were going to have to bench her after the last game and and switch everything up. This was a very encouraging sign from Aaliyah Boston to play that well. Then there's Coach Christy Sides, who, again, is another one who has been critiqued and roasted, and everything else. Well, what did she do? She made another smart coaching decision. And uh, she made a smart coaching decision. I, I, I guess some people will probably blast me for using the word another. She made a smart coaching decision, and, and I think she did this in the last game too, so that's why I say another. When she sat Boston in the last game, that was smart. In this game, she sat Alyssa Smith, who I've liked a lot this season, but it was a wise move by sides because she brings in Fag Benley, Teme Fag Benley, who has been a just a seamless fit with Caitlin Clark. But the Fever were getting hammered again defensively. You know, it, this has been a team that has been abused defensively and on the boards. So you bring in some more size with Fag Benley, who played really, really well. 17 points, plus 15 in her minutes in the game. Her and Clark have a nice, nice connection. They just read each other well. In fact, Benley moves really well, receives the passes really well, has some nifty layup package finishing moves near the basket. Um, And that was a smart move by Christy Sides. Let's give her some credit. And then you had Kelsey Mitchell also stepping up. Kelsey Mitchell is clearly a scorer, a, a, a natural born scorer. She has that ability to get a bucket on her own. So when you take 17 points from Aaliyah Boston, 18 points from Kelsey Mitchell, and 17 points from Fag Benley, and add that to what Clark brings, that's a recipe for a win. That's a recipe for a win. And you, you look at the rebounding totals, 35 rebounds for the Sparks, 32 for the Fever. So they didn't get hammered on the glass in this one. They had been getting hammered on the glass. They let up a bunch of points. In that first half, 22 points for the Sparks in the first quarter, 23 points for the Sparks in the second quarter, just 11 in the third, just 17 in the fourth. So a pickup in intensity from the Fever and a smart lineup decision to get more size in there to help negate some of those weaknesses that they did have. And then there was Caitlin Clark. And Caitlin Clark is just different. You know, I've said this from the beginning, but she's just different. I mean, look. Let me pull up the, the one of these logo threes that came at the end of the game. She did not shoot the ball well. She struggled with her shot, but then she hit it when it matters. And look at her right here. Gets the, the pass, takes it off the screen, comes around here. Not that much separation, but she uses that step back dribble, fires from afar, and it is bottoms and Caitlin was happy about some of those shots she hit late she hit two of those she had two of those really long range three pointers that just get the crowd excited and that nobody else does in the WNBA or in women's basketball women's college basketball that we've ever seen nobody else does but here's the thing Caitlin Clark is not just a shooter she is not just a shooter Caitlin Clark is a very very good all-around player You know, she has to get better defensively, but she has. She's played much better defense in the last couple games than she did in the games prior. And 
I've compared her to Jason Kidd at times. I've compared her to Jason Kidd at times because she gets the ball on the break with the rebound and throws these beautiful outlet passes. And she had some, she has passes that make me get up out of my seat. Make me get up out of my seat in excitement, just the way she's able to read the floor. There was even some times, again, there were fumbled teammates weren't ready for them. But she filled out the rest of that box score. Eight assists, 10 rebounds, four steals. She's a hell of an all-around player. And she can do that super exciting thing that nobody – I mean, the, the passes are just as exciting to me. But the, those long-range shots, I mean, forget about it. That's the, the formula for – you know, the highlights and, and everything else that has gone along with Caitlin Clark. And let me defend Christy Sides on one other thing. Everybody was talking about her and what she said about Clark's shot selection and, and bad habits. She is not putting a leash on Caitlin Clark in those shots. She was hoisting them things. Wasn't making any of them, hoisting them. Took nine of them, nine threes. Two from wherever in the fourth quarter when the game was on the line. When the game was on the line. So you cannot say that she's being held down by her coach in that regard. Or micromanaged. You know, she's getting to have those shots and those moments. And even a bit of a Jordan shrug from Caitlin Clark. Even a bit of a Jordan shrug. Look at this. Right there. After one of those distant shots. Caitlin Clark's the truth. Caitlin Clark is the truth. And the Indiana Fever are a much improved basketball team. They're a much improved basketball team. And they're getting better and better. I mean, they should have won the, the game prior to this one. They were in the game prior to that one. They finally got their win. And now I feel like they can compete with these other teams in the league. And the, the schedule will ease up a little bit. It's tough they got a back-to-back, but the, the schedule will ease up a little bit, and that will allow them to stack some of these Ws. And nobody on online can ever say again when you say Caitlin Clark has done some good things. Well, she hasn't won a game. Oh, there's a zero there. Loser. How many wins? Well, at least there's one on the board. And that, you know, takes the pressure off of the team going forward. But her teammates stepped up as well. So I, I give, you know, I've given Caitlin Clark her flowers. She deserves them all. But her teammates deserve some flowers for putting her in a position to be able to take them home at the end of that one.